This is a story about uh, parents teaching bad behaviors to their children. Uh, the kid is me. Uh, so every year uh, since I was less than a year old, my family has gone to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina uh, for somewhere between a week or two weeks every single summer. And um, we have a nice little summer vacation. And sometime when I was a young child, my dad started the tradition of buying um, highly illegal fireworks and smuggling them across state lines back to Pennsylvania. Uh, and so we would go at the end of July and then like 11 months later on the 4th of July we would travel to my grandparents who live in northwestern Pennsylvania and pretty much in the middle of nowhere and we'd set off big fireworks uh, in in their fields and at the time I didn't really think of the logistics of this but my parents would put like three or four grocery bags full of very explosive material in the back of an Astrovan in July in South Carolina, where, I don't know, it's like 105 degrees every single day. Nothing bad happened, but it really should have at that point. <laughs> uh, so, so like I said, we would go up to our grandparents, we'd set off fireworks every, every year. Uh, and we'd store them in the attic of their house because that's a cool place. Uh, and as a 10-year-old, uh, the schools start telling you about bad behavior and police and uh, law enforcement and, and going to prison. And my, my parents used to like drive me past juvie and say, like, if you're going to be bad, you're going to go there. And then they would go set off fireworks in my grandparents' fi field. So I was I was a really like law abiding kid and I couldn't ever really get into fireworks uh, illegal fireworks uh, because I was afraid I was going to go to prison and my parents didn't seem to care and that really worried me <laughs> they didn't go to prison and I feel like on some level maybe they should have but. Um, <laughs> So the other part of what we did when we were up at, uh, in Oil City, Pennsylvania, shout out to no one here, okay, cool, <laughs> great, uh, was uh, the town of Oil City would have a, uh, a, a celebration on July 3rd instead of July 4th. And they called it Jolly July 3rd. I'm getting to you. <laughs> and they, they set off legal fireworks and I, was, I could get behind that. And, um, Recently, I realized that my favorite, uh, my favorite holidays are July 3rd, not July 4th, because I have all these great memories of being with my family. And last year, I got a group of people together to come to the Holy Hound on July 3rd and have some beers, and we accidentally registered jollyjuly3rd.com. So I encourage you to go check it out and celebrate Eileen's birthday with us next year. <laughs>